I was so excited when I first heard that my beloved Halo franchise of two decades was going to be made into a TV series. This is going to be great, I thought. Massive space and ground battles, all the Covenant races in live action, and an intriguing and captivating storyline that Halo is known for. But what did we get? A big fat fucking turd in my opinion. From the boring characters, to the crappy dialogue, to the nonsensical plot, a strange human covenant lady, to the obsession with ass cheeks, and a sex scene? Throughout watching all of this, I was constantly thinking, how could they get this so wrong? It was definitely not made for Halo fans, and arguably anyone for that matter. The first season of the Halo TV series is spectacularly bad on so many levels, but I feel the most problematic issue in the creation of the show was the showrunners not understanding Halo whatsoever. How could you screw something up so bad when you essentially have a pre-written script of one of the greatest sci-fi universes in existence? This is how. The significant influencers that were ultimately responsible for the outcome of the show had little to no personal experience with the topic, and to further mention, refused to do the necessary research like playing the games on which the show is based on. The result has been seen. A colossal failure. And I don't want to hear that, oh, it's just the silver timeline, it doesn't matter overall excuse. This is still a Halo show, right? What's the point of making a Halo TV show if you're going to change every single aspect besides man in green armor and maybe like some warthogs? The story is so off the mark, most times it doesn't even feel like it's in the Halo universe. The almost obsessive need to change and add horrible ideas to Halo just screams incompetence. Like, did they really need to permanently integrate Cortana into MC's brain instead of simply sticking with the traditional Halo AI chip? Oh yeah, that's right, it was for the absurdly idiotic purpose of Cortana taking complete control over Chief's mind and body. Did we really need the Spartans to be injected with emotional suppression butt pills? instead of them just being highly professional and disciplined soldiers like the real canon? Oh yeah, that's right, we needed a reason for Chief to become an emotional wreck and start questioning his childhood as a Spartan recruit. Did we really need the Spartans to not know they were abducted when they were children, just so Chief can go on some I hate Halsey rampage, instead of being told the truth by Halsey herself when they were kids like the real canon? Oh yeah, that's right, we needed to make Halsey look like a monster in the next Space Hitler. Did Master Chief and the other Spartans really need to take off their helmets every 20 fucking seconds? Like dude, you're in a hostile environment surrounded by people who hate the UNSC, put your helmet back on. Oh yeah, that's right, we needed Chief and the other Spartans to show their faces to humanize them. Did we also need Chief to be such an irrational maniac? instead of the cool, calm, and collected badass like in the real canon? Oh yeah, that's right, we needed a scene where he tries to Superman punch Halsey? Did we really need a human orphan raised by the Covenant, who hates humanity because she had a bad childhood? Who flip-flops her 20 year plus loyalty to the Covenant just because she had some sexy time? Humans bad. Mmm, humans good. Humans bad again. Oh yeah, that's right, it's because we needed a love interest and sex scene for Mr. Halo. I don't know about some people, but the top of my Halo wish list was to see Master Chief get it on with a Covenant prisoner lady he's known for about 7 hours. Did we really need to focus on the so-called insurrection instead of like, I don't know, the freaking aliens from outer space that will literally murder helpless innocents? Oh yeah, that's right. We needed some random side story that never got a resolution at the end of the season. And for that matter, did we really need the character of Quan Ha? No. No, we did not. Why are the Covenant presented almost as a non-threat? Like there's some random hostile aliens out on the fringes of known space. This is an empire that almost caused the extinction of the entire human race in the real canon. But in this show, they're barely the focus. The characters keep saying throughout the show, win the war. We have to win the war. What war? The war with the insurrection? 
because I can tell you there was a lot more effort put into showing off the insurrection than the Covenant. Why does the show use the most generic sci-fi music when you literally have arguably the greatest video game soundtracks at your disposal? I mean, at the beginning of the intro credits, you hear the very beginning of the Halo theme, and it's really good. But then it goes into some bland, unmemorable score for the rest of it. All of these changes were completely unnecessary and only further proved that the showrunners basically looked at the box cover art from some random Halo game and was like, yep, that's enough research. Not to mention, the show overall has a very amateur feel to it, like it's the most expensive Halo fan film ever made. The cinematography is average at best, the CGI itself looks wonky the majority of the time, which is unacceptable for a show with a $90 million budget. Every time the camera switches to a shot of a Spartan's face inside the visor, or an FPS shot, I can't help but cringe. It's like the showrunners were trying to go for that Iron Man style scene, but the outcome is nowhere near as good as the Marvel movies and Robert Downey Jr's acting. The show also fails as a general sci-fi show. Nothing spectacular or interesting is shown off in the universe. The technology in the show is just sort of blah, like we really didn't see any of the cool UNSC ships, or cryopods, or robotic prosthetic arms. What about an orbital Mac platform? ODST drop pods in action? Nope, nothing. All we saw were some futuristic holograms and a ripoff of the contact lenses from the Batman. But does the show succeed as a drama? There's a lot of drama in the show, how's that? Does it have a strong storyline? Does it keep you engaged and captivated? Paralyzed? Dumbstruck? No. The tone of the show is all over the place. Half the time I'm bored out of my mind, and the other half I'm totally confused on what's going on. For instance, in one episode, it goes from a walk in the woods, to showcasing a glass planet with millions dead, and then right into a sex scene, with Cortana watching. The character interactions are uninteresting, and the emotional connection between them falls flat. It's just not believable due to the silly and goofy nature of their dialogue. It just sucks. The characters in the show are not even likable, with the possible exception of Kai and maybe Miranda, where I don't groan every time I see them on screen. Chief is an emotional basket case that acts more like a petulant teenager than a professional soldier. The other two Spartans act more like robots than actual human beings, and I can't even remember their names. Keys just stands around talking, he never issues orders in a space battle, Parangoski constantly gets pushed around by lower subordinates like she's not even in charge. Maki's character was only conceived to show off the Covenant's perspective and as a love interest for the main character, where she failed both miserably. Why come up with an entirely new character that is essentially a view into the Covenant's mind to only have her speak to the Prophets a handful of times and then get betrayed at the end? It would have been better to showcase another side to her character perhaps her interacting with the other lesser members of the Covenant. For instance, her empathizing with a group of grunts that were just being picked on by an elite, reminiscent of when she was a child. Maybe her exploring high charity, anything other than what we got. And her falling for Chief in like the first day of meeting him, and then getting some, is like the Halo equivalent of Tinder and is just so cringeworthy. Soren is all over the place, like is he a pirate? A kind family man? MC's buddy? He keeps saying how much he doesn't care for Quan, but saves her multiple times, just to leave her stranded in the middle of nowhere, goes back home, throws a party, crushes a man's foot, then goes back to rescue Quan, and then just leaves her alone on the planet again. What? And speaking of what, Quan Ha, the last surviving member of the Haas, is really a pointless character. For starters, she has a strange obsession with continuing to fight the UNSC after witnessing the Covenant brutally murder her father and all of her people. I don't know about you, but I think after watching my father get stabbed with an energy sword by a giant squid mouth alien, my priorities would shift to fighting those guys instead of humans. Her entire character arc is wanting to restart her father's insurrection, and then morphs into some magic acid dream with her getting killed over and over again. She's not even mentioned in the last two episodes, so what was the point of her character? 
even the side characters are strange and off-putting, like Halsey's creep assistant, that one witch lady that speaks in riddles, and that one marine dude who guards McKee and keeps calling her Squidhead when she's clearly a human, and then gets fried when she touches the artifact. And last but not least, once again, 343 has made Halsey come off as the next space Hitler and a total psychotic monster with no empathy or compassion for anyone but herself. The character of Halsey before 343 was always morally gray. Did she do some stuff that was immoral and questionable? Sure, but it definitely affected her, and she never did it out of spite or vengeance. She would never hurt the Spartans intentionally or want to wipe out their minds and control them like puppets. She cared for the Spartans like they were her children. She wanted to protect them at all costs, in a motherly sort of way, not in this creepy, controlling, self-absorbed way. And I don't blame the actors whatsoever for all of these terrible character traits. They were just doing their jobs to the best of their abilities and probably were just as puzzled as the rest of us. The only positive thing in this whole show were the battle scenes. Huh, who would have thought in a Halo show? But even then, there was only three battles in the entire season, and the direction of the last battle was poorly written in my opinion. It definitely did not make up for the rest of the season. Overall, I just really don't care about season two, if that's even going to happen after the debacle of this season. Either get entirely new showrunners and writers who actually know what Halo is, or just cancel the whole project altogether and put it out of its misery. Anyway, those are my thoughts on the Halo TV series. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.